Hey everybody, it's CartFab here, and today we're going to look at installing an arc billet rod inside a small engine. Now this will work for Briggs & Stratton, Predator 212cc, any small engine. So if you came here looking for the torque specs, how to install, all that kind of stuff, we're going to go over every little thing you need to install a connecting rod in a small engine so you can rev really high. So let's go check it out. So the first step is disassemble the connecting rod, oil up the threads on the bolt especially, that allow you to torque it to 170 inch pounds. Wrap a sock around the connecting rod halves, put the bearings in, they have a little slot for them, and then hand tighten the bolts. Now the most common cause of connecting rod failure is not torquing the bolts to spec. Spec is 170 inch pounds, you're going to need a torque wrench. I have a link in the description for that. Um, and you're also going to need a quarter inch 12 point socket. I got this socket set as well. I also have the link in my article and the description for this particular socket if you're looking for one of those. Uh, torque it all down and that seats the bearings. Then you take it all apart. When installing plastic gauge, you basically take this thing right here, which is plastic gauge. It has different thicknesses that you can use, uh, green, red, blue. Uh, we're using red on this one and you take plastic gauge which is inside this package and you cut it put it on top of the crankshaft journal and then you put the other half of the connecting rod on there tighten it all up and then make sure you torque it down to the specified amount untorque all the bolts and take a look at it and then after you take a look at it you compare it to the width on here and then I'll let you know what your um, crank journal to bearing clearances. If you have a bearing clearance that's too small, you can actually seize the rod and break it. Another way to measure bearing clearance or oil clearance is to measure the outer diameter of the crankshaft journal and the inner diameter of the uh, connecting rod when it's torqued to spec with the bearings already seated. You can do that with a caliper. This video assumes you already installed your piston. That's what the next video is for if you don't know how to install one. But after you get your piston installed, you uh, go ahead and tighten up everything. Make sure that the connecting rod scoops oil as it's rotating correctly. There's a right way and a wrong way. So if you have it the wrong way, flip it 180. Torque it down to 170 inch pounds with oil and you're set. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, as always, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below and please subscribe. I actually am doing an entire build on uh, a mini bike. And this is just one step in the build process. The next video we're gonna look at involves the piston and how to install a performance piston on a go-kart engine. So if you're looking uh, for all the tools that you need, the torque wrench, the socket, the specific 12-point socket, um, if you want to get some calipers, or if you're actually looking for the arc billet rod itself, I wrote an article on this, and you can check that out in the link below. And in that article, it has the links to all the tools as well as the connecting rod for your specific engine, whether that be a Briggs and Stratton, Predator 212, or any other engine. So uh, if you could, check that out if you want. Uh, if not, we'll catch you next time. Thanks, guys.